Hello everyone, I am Sait and welcome back to my channel Sait. In today's video, I will tell you how to order the speed test and the RAM management test comparison between the Realme X1 Max versus Poco F3 GT device. And this test is going to include the 4 heavy games and 6 small games. As you can see friends, same games I did include in both phones. And this is going to be really very very interesting because the Poco F3 GT has got really very good RAM management in terms of the loading so many games in the background. That is what the history of this Poco F3 GT has. In, within this 3 days of time, I did understand and that thing but in the realme x1 max let's see what this phone is about when compared with this poco f3 gt because both phones they do have the same kind of dimensity 1200 process but it also depends upon the ui how they are handling in terms of the multitasking and ram management and right now i'll try to use the ram expansion in this realme x1 max because right now few of the users that did mention that uh, can you please use the ram expansion when you're trying to do this kind of speed test so that is the reason i'm trying to use the ram expansion but i need to reboot the device so let's see meanwhile i'll try to uh, show you the even reboot speed as well as you can see i'm trying to reboot at same time both phones sorry a little bit kind of late in the poco f3 gt just a little bit so I'll, I'll try to use the 5gb ram expansion slot in the realme x1 max i do know that it's not any useful it's a really gimmick but still if the realme x x1 max doesn't win this kind of race the users of the realme x1 max few of them they'll definitely mention can you use the ram expansion slot that is the reason it did not win can you use and try it that's that's why i'm right now i'm trying and showing you so let's see what will happen using the ram expansion versus this 8gb ram variant which is a poco f3 gt the poco f3 gt did turn on the screen faster as you can see even though i did uh do the little kind of late but still so let's check what is the ram availability right now after rebooting so now you can clearly see what is the ram availability in both phones so 4.89 gb available out of 8 plus 5 gb and 5.6 gb is available out of 8 gb as you can exactly see friends now let's check what is the wi-fi connection the both phones are up to connected that's another most important thing to check let's try to connect to the 5 gigahertz network as you can see same network the both phones are connected successfully 5 gigahertz as you can see perfect and these are the 10 games which i'll be selecting right now so let's start with the first game which is a battleground mobile gameplay let's see which phone can actually open faster so both are having same dimensity of 1200 processor but different kind of results i am seeing friends so trust me and during this time there is no game space there is no game turbo completely disabled so this way we will get to know how is the performance of the phone as you can see the difference so in the speed test let's see which phone will be the winner speed test and then ram management test and then random test so right now there is a difference i would say between these two phones in terms of the opening game not bad not bad the poco f3 gt was able to open the game faster than the realme x1 max as i said i did observe this kind of uh, thing in the poco f3 gt in terms of the performance it's really i, I cannot even believe that phone with the dimension 1200 performing like this because uh, my whole impression got changed after using this poco f3 gt so whenever i use the realme x1 max I, i'm in mean, the impression that it's not equal to snapdragon 870 but once i start to use this phone then i started to believe it's kind of close it's kind of close to Snapdragon 870. Even till now, I did not say equal, but I'm saying close. Yes, there's a difference between those. So I'll try to mention why I did mention that those kind of things. So let me try to keep the game in the background. So let's see. So dimensity 1200 and 1200. First phone to open is a OnePlus, sorry, Poco F3 GT. And next is a FIFA game. So this is going to be really interesting between both phones and first Poco F3 GT. So the speed test, we can clearly see events. The UI in this Poco F3 GT is completely, I think it's kind of optimized for this kind of gaming and uh, RAM management. That is what I did feel. Because other phones with the same MIUI 12.5, they're not performing like this. The way I did see in this phone, they're not performing. Maybe something to do with the combination of Dimensity and the uh, MI phones, I think Poco phones, maybe. So combination of uh, MediaTek processor and the MIUI, process, MIUI version software will be kind of optimized. That is what few users did mention so let's see what this just four days of using this device friends so come on so maybe after one week or 10 days of 20 days i can definitely give my complete conclusion on the poco f3 gt what is happening so four games big games i did open in both phones now let's move to the small games task so first phone i think to open poco f3 gt as you can see even in the opening speed also slightly faster than the realme x1 max i'm just saying well, the Realme X1 Max can win this or not. So in the gaming, I'll try to do a separate video on that. Which phone is best to buy? Realme X1 Max or the Poco F3 GT for gaming? So that will be really interesting thing to see. So stay tuned for those videos, friends. 
so right now as you can see these are the results which we got and next is a uh, lkram racing so in the ram management and in the speed test the poco f3 gt was kind of good so realme ui needs a lot of optimization i did upload a video friends couple of uh, weeks back where the realme ui needs optimization but still there is no improvement in that i'll try to re-upload the same video i'll try to mention what are the things again back to you all so you'll be able to understand what is happening temple run and subway surf let's see what is happening in subway surf so uh, till now poco f3 gt was the clear winner in the speed test you did see so most of the games are really open faster in the poco f3 gt now the real task comes in the first stage the poco f3 gt is a clear winner in the first stage next test is the ram management as you can see in the RAM management, I didn't open all the games in the background, including the settings application. So now let's come from the back side. Let's see how many games will be in the background memory. Let's see. Coming from the back side and subway surf. Temple run, no problem. Both phones. The small games should not be issue. I'm only worried about the big games. So let's see which phone can actually keep them in the memory. The big games. Starting from the again Ace Force. Yeah. Starting from here, Stand of 2, Free Fire and the Call of Duty and Battlegrounds Mobile. So these four games are really kind of little bit kind of big. But let's see whether this will remain in the memory or not. No. As you can see in the Realme XM Max, it's completely went. It's not there in the background memory. That's kind of thing. As you can see, friends, clearly. So in my experience, after using this phone, I'm saying like this. I did use the Realme XM Max, not one day or two days. I did use close to 40 days. And I uploaded more than close to 500 videos on this Realme XM Max an intense kind of usage you you will not believe average person who uses for one year i did use within short amount of time intense usage so this is a review coming after intense kind of usage right now as you can see poco f3 gt i don't know what magic is there but yeah that's kind of strange to see that's completely unbelievable i every time i do this kind of speed test i don't know I'm getting uh, more attracted to this Poco F3 GT. So before, iQOO 7 was used to be the my favorite. Even now also, iQOO 7 was my favorite in terms of the performance and RAM management. But this MIUI I did not expect. So right now, Call of Duty was in the background memory in both phones. Not pro no problem. Even the Realme X and Max also in the memory. Next is a Battlegrounds mobile. Final game. Let's see which phone. Both phones are in the memory as you can see. But the only thing is that the Realme X and Max did not open the FIFA and the standoff 2. It did not open two games. That's the one thing which I was mentioning. So the Poco F3 GT did load all the games without any kind of issues. So let's start random test. I'll try to come back again. As you can see, Realme X and Max did not open. Subway Surf did not open. They got went away from the multitasking. They, they are not staying. The RAM management is not that uh, efficient to store more games in the background. I do know no one will be playing this much of games in the background you can definitely think that but i'm trying to put the maximum uh, push on this processors and the, on the ui just to check which phone can actually survive as you can see friends last three applicants three games are completely deleted from the ram management in this phone even this game also that's kind of completely strange as you can see absolutely even after opening all these kind of games and everything as you can see friends the poco f3 gt has everything so this is a quick speed test and the RAM management test comparison between both phones and the final result is POCO F3 GT is a clear winner and dominated the Realme X1 Max in the speed test and the RAM management test. So these are the games, only intense kind of games. I'll try to use the 20 applications and 25 applications testing which phone will be able to open so many applications in the background. And you can see the RAM availability. So 2.29 available out of 8 plus 5 GB of RAM. As you can see the difference between both phones. So that's it friends, thank you for watching this video and don't forget to check the playlist of uh, processor playlist uh, where, where I did upload plenty of processor speed test comparison between both phones you can find interesting. So see you in the next video friends, I'll stay tuned for more updates, meanwhile signing off, bye.